All right, guys. Here we are with the two PSA 10 Charizards, um, the uh, CD promo Charizards uh, from Japan. So this is how it really went um, when I got these. So I got the mail, well, John's mail, and we pulled them out. We pulled the cards out because that's what it looked like before. I pulled it out, pulled the cards out, put them to the side. I was just like, oh, cardboard, don't need. And um, so. I pulled it, pull the cards out like this. Um, so I'm trying to let me see if I can get this right. Because there's a way I looked at it. No, maybe. Okay, so this is how I really looked at the cards. Um, so there was a card behind there, and I was looking at it. I'm like, wait, there has to be something up with this. I thought it was just like an extra card, like hidden on the back, and I would just like pull, pull the card out. But that didn't happen, so I cracked it open, and then all of a sudden, two of these bad boys came out. Now, the true price of these has ranges. Um, to me, $40 would seem appropriate for these, but I'm not going to trade them. Wouldn't trade these for the world, well, probably for a shadowless um, Charizard, but I know that's never going to happen. Uh, because there are more of these, I think there's like... 1,414 of these um, Gem Mint 10s in the world. Uh, PSA graded, by the way. Um, so let's take a look at it, and I'll try to explain what PSA is on the way. So what PSA is, um, is, is a, well, let's get the original, uh, Professional Sports Authenticator. And they have a little hologram on the back, you know, to make sure they're lo legit and stuff. Um, so they grade your cards uh, by if there's any scratches, if it's centered, if the cut's right, stuff like that. Now they really do look at these cards and if you send them the card, they'll take care of it for sure. Um, so for a one year subscription, I believe is $100. And for, uh, for that $100, you get to send six cards to PSA and it's another $20 to send uh, more cards in to... Uh, which we'll call it to be graded. Um, I haven't personally done that. Uh, Pokemon Trader Brad is one of those per people that have actually sent them in um, because I don't have cards that are worth uh, gem mint 10 or near mint. So I'm hoping by the summer I'll be getting uh, more booster packs and stuff like that. So um, these CD promos came in, uh, I believe, within three. It was a Charizard, Venusaur, and a Blastoise. Um, very nice set to have and I'm looking for gem mint tens of those two of the Blastoise and Venusaur. Uh, I forgot to mention that these cases sturdy as anything. Uh, you can break into one of these, it's not highly recommended, but you know you can break them in break them in. They're UV protected, uh, dirt protected, I'm not too sure about water protection, uh, shock absorbent I believe somewhat. Um, but these things can withstand anything. So uh, now let's get to the card. Uh, so here we go, 1998 PM, I believe it's promo something. Uh, Japanese number six, Charizard Hollow Gem and 10, C promo, barcode, some random barcode, and uh, the number. Uh, this is the card itself, very nice. As you can see, there, there's me. Uh, there's no scratches on it at all. And then. Very nice. Let's go look at the bottom. One of my favorite artists of all time, Ken Sugimori. Very nice. And then number six pertaining to this number six. Now look at the back. We have a hologram on the back. And then we have the pocket monsters. I love the back of um, the Japanese better, the original Japanese, not when they um, which one, when they changed the backs to Pokemon. Uh, here we go with the second one, Gem and Ten as well. As you can see, there's the little Thunderbolt thing, meaning CD promo, I believe. And then, if anyone can translate this with the text and stuff, or send me a link where they translated this, um, that'd be greatly appreciated, because I'm into looking what the, these things mean. Uh, so those are the two Gem Mint 10 PSA, uh, let me say this again, 1998 CD promo Charizards holographic Gem Mint 10 PSA graded. Thanks a lot, guys, and peace out.